Hey guys, welcome back to Stoneheart with me, Banto. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you the later Steam opt-in version. This is still Alpha 5, but it's a later version with uh, new features that's gonna come for the non-Steam opt-in version. So if you have the game on Steam, you can get this version yourself by just opting in for the Steam opt-in version of the game. So let's start out with the new map and I'm gonna like show some new things for the game. We're gonna continue the previous town in a future episode and it's not gonna be too far away. But keep in mind if you do want to upgrade your Steam version, you might have some problems because you can't load your old games. They're like they are in the valid, they are the wrong version and they do not work with this version. So keep that in mind if you're gonna upgrade. I actually have two versions on my PC, so I have both the Steam opt-in and also got one download direct from Humble Bundle, which is uh, the same version as Steam, but without the Steam opt-in, so... Okay, so, I mean, this would be pretty... I think this would be a pretty safe place to start out with. We could start out down here and... Then we can expand either this way or this way or this way or whatever way we wish to. So let's start out down here and see if it's gonna go good. West Knight. So, a town advisory. We're gonna store some wood, so let's collect some wood. And as you see directly, there are some really big changes. So you will actually see how big area you select. 21 by 11, so the easier way maybe when you're designing houses to see what's actually going on. A traveler, back up, you look like you could be really benefit from something tasty. The traveler like to leave you one farmer's hoe. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't think a farmer's hoe tastes that good, but uh, it's good for us to get it, but the taste, I don't know. So, we're just gonna make a basic stockpile here, and let's collect this wood as well. We're gonna need it later anyway. And we completed that mission. So, it's like kind of like a tutorial helping you a little bit when you're starting out in the game. It's not really much help, but uh, it's at least something, so we can get going. And we should start by designing our very first building here. But keep in mind, if you're gonna play this uh, Steam Optim version, it does crash a lot more compared to like the normal one. I think, uh, at least for me, it does crash very often compared to the normal one. So this house here is gonna be for people to live in. And uh, just like see here, we can see how big the things are. Just like we could see when we was selecting trees to chop down or resources to collect. It works the same. And maybe we should actually remove these flowers first. I don't actually think we can actually do anything with the flowers, but it's something that you're definitely gonna be able to do something with in the future. And by the way, before we start to get his building down, we're actually gonna do a thing which is very different and a huge improvement. You can go into a person, change the job, and you can see that you can choose which jobs, so there are some new ones like uh, the miner, which you can't do yet. And we also got, uh, I think it's something here, or maybe it's this one, mason, blacksmith. So these two, they do not exist in the current version, they are gonna exist in the future, and this question marks other things, so... I could guess that would be an archer or something, or some kind of different... I mean, you might even get the horse, horses later on in the game, who knows? But let's continue with... Uh, Getting this building done. Did we get that guy? I didn't apply the job. So let's get this building done. So we want to have walls. Uh, are we gonna go for that or should we go for dark ones? Let's go for some dark walls and let's see how the roof is gonna look. Maybe we can change. I don't think it's gonna look good in that way. Maybe it do. Yeah, let's actually go for this and uh, they also remove this slope thing, so I guess it didn't work out so good with this game. So that looks pretty good, I think, and like I said, this is gonna be a place where people are gonna live. And as you see directly here, we also got some new doors, so we got a reinforced one and the old door, and we got this new window, diamond window. So, I mean, we can place this new one, yes, so you can see how they look. And reinforce the door as well, and a window right to the door. And I think it looked pretty good, but uh, they do not really go well together with the house, and I would say. Like, you see the color of the walls? Even though I'm using dark walls, it doesn't really go well together, but... 
it's like real early versions and I mean you can have probably a lot of different walls to play around with in the future. So let's start building this one. So the thing I want to do in these episodes and maybe some future episode with this town is to show some of the upcoming features which are not released for the non-steam opt-in version. So we're getting it done and also gonna place the work bench, the workshop for the carpenter and gonna put a, a queue. One thing that's very bugged for the game at the moment is uh, when you're gonna create fences, they are very bugged. Sometimes they do not put it in the stock pads. It's actually very often they just get placed all around here, and that bug seems to exist both for the steam opt-in and for the non-steam opt-in. So I wouldn't choose to like maintain the fences. It's very risky for the moment. So I would rather create them instead. And this is one thing that actually works now. So the picket fence gate works for me. It didn't work for me before. But now it works. Let's create six beds. And we're gonna choose to maintain some of those window frames. Five of them. And we're gonna maintain five of the normal. Maintain one of each door. Did we get it? This is one bug that I noticed as well. If you're adding things like longer than this queue you have to like go out and you have to go back in again and you can see this arrow so if you think that you haven't queued things up do that and check if uh, it's just the game playing around with you and we did get a farmer's hoe so we don't need to make a farmer's hoe we're gonna maintain those lanterns i love those lanterns i like to put them all around in my town okay so he's working good and the construction is going pretty good, so we're gonna speed up the game a little bit, and I think that we should be pretty damn safe down here, so if we are really safe, like we get this whole area and we're spawning like no goblins, I don't think we're actually gonna get attacked because goblins won't go down here. I do not think that we're gonna build any ladders. I haven't seen it myself at least, but who knows, it might be something that they do do that I don't know about. So I think we should get a farmer actually to start doing work. So let's approve one. You can do it the normal way, like clicking the tool. I think you can still do it at least. Maybe you can do it. That's uh, that's actually a bit weird that you can do it that way anymore at all. But it works pretty good with this new thing inside here. So we can change the job from the farmer to a worker. So that's really great, like before you maybe got too many of each uh, profession and like I want workers, I don't want this many crafters, I don't want to have 10 farmers on one little farm plot, so. Okay, we're gonna place some beds here, we're gonna have many beds inside this. We're just gonna try to make it really crowded so everybody will have some place to sleep to have a good time. And if you're interested to see like see this latest version feel free to like tell me in the comments like I want to see more of the upcoming features fe features that are very like experimental and such stuff so you, you can see what's going on what is this guy doing whoa let's slow down the speed and maybe it helps him okay let's do a save hopefully that's gonna solve it okay so what are we gonna do now is to actually try to load the game instead it solves so many things. Loading games in this game is like the easiest way to solve bugs. And here we go, a window frame. Five beds. I don't think we're gonna try to push in more beds. I think that's gonna be the maximum for this house. And maybe we should add uh, the farm plots so we can have some place where we're gonna have the farms. Kind of thinking about having that side of this. Okay, grow some pumpkins, they grow really fast, not so tasty according to the people here. And some turnips, and probably should chop down this wood. Okay, what is he doing? <laughs> 
this is what you get for playing experimental versions. So keep that in mind. This is like the alpha of the alpha version. So let's try to do another save and see what's gonna happen. And there they go, they're working again. Loading games helps really much. And I do think that game do bugs up more. Like if you move really fast, I don't think the game any can actually keep up. So a lot of things you can, that you can see that they're tracking very often for me is that uh, it is this Pathfinder. This is working like 100% from time to time. And you can imagine when you're running it at like uh, double the speed. It is very like intensive for the game engine to work with it. So turnips, pumpkin and um, let's grow some I think it's called silkweed. Yeah, silkweed spun into Fred. So this time we're gonna try to make sure that we have food early, we're gonna try to make sure that we have uh, resources to create the clothing and uh, get the clothing going early and we're gonna try to make sure that our people stay and we get more people and that people do not die. So shelter, food, clothing, get those things going, making the town go good. So what I'm thinking about doing after this one, it's either going to be a storage barn or it's going to be a uh, normal house. One thing that I'm going to try to build in this time, which uh, I got a request from you guys. Uh, it was some time ago now, but uh, I'm going to try to make like a tavern or an inn or something like that. And we're going to have like tables, we're going to have a stockpile for food inside it. And we're going to try to see how we can make it. So it's going to be pretty interesting and... Uh, I think it's going to be pretty good to have a specific place where people can go and eat. We might have some dining tables and chairs inside the normal buildings as well, but we will see how we will do with it. So it looks like they mainly have the roof left to get done with this one. How many people do we have? Maybe we should make um, another farm or should we just go with this one? It's just like when you're starting out with a farmer, it's so much work to do. So I, this guy or girl, whatever, I think it's a girl actually, Scarlet. She's gonna have to do all these farms and so much work when you're starting out. So I'm kind of going with pretty big farm plots and uh, it does take some time when you're starting out with just having at least one person doing it. But that's getting done soon. We have a lot of wood, but wood can run out pretty quick at times. But I think this thing is really amazing. I think this looks so great. It's a great benefit for the game, both for chopping down things, but mainly for constructing buildings so you can know how big things are when you're making it. Instead of going down like this and trying to track how many blocks was that? Oh my god, did I count r correct or how many was it? So that's a really, really great feature. And people are hungry, so we need more food. And no berry bushes. I think we have berry bushes on top here. But we are not going to expand here until we kind of like fill out this area around here. Because we're going to try to stay as safe as we can, can down here. I think that we might actually get goblins from this dark area. And it kind of feels to me that uh, goblins do not spawn at like... Where's the light area close to towns? Kind of like Minecraft is spawning, like those dark areas. Kind of feels like it's similar in this game. And these guys are really hungry. It's like the streak doing a strike here. And to be honest, I actually think they might be bugging. Now they move a little bit. Let's try to move this and see what they do. And that's one thing that changed as well. You see this extra icon here? Undeploy, undeploy this item and return it to the stockpile. That's pretty damn good. 
So instead of just when you had something outside before and you wanted to like move it, you could do it, but you couldn't get it back to the stockpile with this new thing. They can pick them up and bring them back to the stockpile. And that is really great. This house is soon done and I do not know why they are just standing there. I think that if we save the game and we load the game again, I actually think that they are gonna start to move, so let's see if I'm correct again. Yeah, they already move. So that's to keep in mind. You get some new features in the latest version, but uh, you get some more glitches here and there. And you're some, soon done with this, that's great. But I will continue the previous town and I will also be posting videos with uh, the latest version. So I think it's gonna be more episodes with uh, the town Lom, which is like the stable alpha build, how you want to call it. And then I'm gonna make some extra episodes here and there where the update is uh, Steam opt-in version, I'm gonna show like uh, new features that uh, is coming for the game that they're working out for the moment. And this house is soon getting done. Oh, it's stealing my stuff, so we do have some goblins. Get them, boys! Oh, he's burning my door, or whatever it is. Yeah, great. Yeah, it took an... No, it was a window frame. I thought that it was actually like gonna take it back, but I uh, guess it didn't. So let's place a um, wall-mounted lantern here. I want to make it bright outside. And let's have one here as well. So we need to... Yeah, I think to make it some window frame. Oh, there we got it. So we're just gonna go and place them and... Here we go! Here comes the window frame. Awesome! But guys, this is gonna be it for today with Stoneheart, and if you like to watch more with me Banto playing Stoneheart and other gaming, subscribe to my channel and like this video if you like to see more. And thank you for watching, have a great day, take care.